Hi friends, welcome to Ofa Studies YouTube channel. This is continuation to fabric playlist. In this video, we are going to discuss about how we can prepare and transform the data in lake house. So when you are working with lake houses, you have to do some transformations and prepare the data, right? So how to do that using the Spark especially. So that's what we are going to focus in this video. Please watch my previous video before watching this video because it is kind of continuation to the previous video. So if I go back to my workspace here, this is the workspace. And if you remember in our previous video, we have created this lake house and we have ingested data by creating this pipeline. And whatever the data we have ingested, when I go to the lake house, it landed under the files folder. And what I did once the data landed, once all the parquet files landed here, I have selected this option and loaded into a new table. And uh, that new table only you are seeing it here under, under the tables section, right? And uh, this is like a preview of that particular table, whatever you are seeing it here, it's a preview. So this is what we did it. But here, once we got the data, we have manually did it using this graphical user interface. We haven't written any code. We haven't used the Spark technology here to create the table. So in this video, let's create a notebook and let's do that using the Spark. And also let's try to prepare or transform the data also. Okay. So if I go back to my one note, so that's what even I'm highlighting here. So create a Delta table using the data which you have under the files section. So what we are doing here, spark.read.parquet then files, whatever the root folder, then that data frame, whatever you got it, we are writing that back into the tables folder. That means we are writing it as a Delta table. So that's what we are doing it. Uh, again, if you want to know more about the Spark or PySpark, how to write the code and everything, I have a PySpark playlist, please watch that. So let's go ahead and click this new notebook and select new notebook option here under the open notebook section. This creates a notebook and that notebook we are going to leverage to write the PySpark code that will help us to prepare the data and transform the data. So this is the notebook. Now, if you want to change the name, so if you see the notebook name here, it says notebook one, but if you want to change it to something else, click this settings icon and name it something. So maybe New York taxi underscore notebook okay so that is the notebook name i want to give so once i give that let me close this so that will become the notebook name here you can observe it here okay and now this is where we have to write the code the first thing is uh, if i go to the lake house here right so this path whatever under files this is the location where we have the data in parquet files format so i have to take that entire data and create a delta table on it so how to do that? So click this here and here under properties for that root folder, you can copy that relative path, keep that relative path handy, then go back to the notebook and in the notebook, start writing the code. Spark keyword will give the Spark session object, then read, then it's a parquet files. So use that parquet function and give that uh, code here. So if you see here, uh, I did park dot read dot parquet then the location this entire code returns the data frame back so let me save it in a data frame here called df okay so I'm storing it in a data frame called df uh, let me zoom this little bit so that the code may be visible properly okay and let me minimize this here okay so we have this uh, data frame which is reading this root location and uh, let's try to display this data frame using the display function it should basically read the entire parquet files inside that New York taxi folder by navigating via subfolders as well and display it as a data frame, as a table. So to execute a cell, you can click here or you can select the shift enter to execute that cell. You can see that cell execution started. If you remember, if it is a synapse, actually you have to create this spark pool and you have to attach the spark pool. So all that things we haven't done it here because in fabric we no need to do that so by default a live spark pool session will be available for your fabric so it will automatically come uh, and uh, you can see that it became green also the session very quickly it has not taken two three minutes 
and if you see the code also executed successfully and you can see clearly we are able to get all the data vendor id this that trip distance right uh, so all that parquet files data we got it so if i scroll down here i can horizontally move towards right and see all the columns as well okay so so far we are good so we are able to read the data so now whatever the data we read into this data frame maybe what i want to do i want to write them as a delta table inside the lake house so let's use a comment here write data frame into lake house as delta table so to do that in the data frame you have that entire data then use that write then firstly use that mode option override what this will do it will try to overwrite if already any table is there with that name then format so i want to write it in a delta format so i can give that then finally save that and where i have to save it under tables i have to save it okay and uh, when you save it under tables uh, you can give the table name as well so that's what we did here also if you see here right uh, if you can see i'm writing that data frame back into the tables folder as this so with this name a table will be created okay i will practically show you that so let's go back here and uh, let me try to say the table name as like this uh, nyc taxi latest let's use that name okay so this is the table name i want to create uh, then once it is done let me simply print that print saying delta table nyc taxi latest got created so let me print that so let me hit shift enter to execute this cell once again and once the cell execution completes it will actually display the data also write that data into the table then print this line great cell got executed and it should have created a table as well so when i scroll down it also printed that delta table new york taxi latest got created so let's go back to our lake house here and uh, try to see the same thing so if i refresh this tables folder now and uh, i should see that latest table see and let me click that latest table now see i have selected that latest table now it should show me the preview of the data as well so let's wait for the preview to happen you can see that that means we are successfully able to take that files data and keep it as a delta table inside the lake house so now next thing what i want to cover is i wanted to prepare some data by aggregating something so i wanted to write this kind of a sql statement where it will actually give give me trip id information based on the vendor id that means for every vendor id what is the trip distance they did it so that's what we are going to take that so let's assume on top of the table which we created on top of that table we want to group by this and get this information okay and whatever this information we got we wanted to write that bag as as a aggregated table into the lake house so let me explain this uh, so what i will, so if i go back to the browser let me go back to the notebook and in the notebook so in this cell so i wanted to write a sql code so let's use this sql then here i am going to create a temporary view okay create or replace temporary view so you can see the syntax create or replace temporary view then the view name as then your select query okay so let me use view and uh, i wanted to give the view name as trip distance by vendor so i wanted to take every vendor and group by the tri trip distance what they traveled so in the table overall for vendor id 1 what is the trip distance for vendor id 2 what is the trip distance the total trip distance so that i wanted to take it as a aggregated information so as so here i can write that select query select okay from what is our table name so you have to use like this nyc taxi nyc taxi lh dot then your table name what is the table name we have gave we have gave the table name like this copy that and then here so lake house name dot table name i wanted to do group by group by vendor id okay so group by vendor id i wanted to do and uh, this uh, 
table should print vendor id then sum of maybe okay sum of the trip distance column as trip distance okay so when i execute this cell it should create a temporary view with the name this so let me execute it by hitting shift enter so once the temporary table got created within the session of the spark we can make use of the pi spark to take that view result as a data frame as well so all these things i have covered in the pi spark playlist so if you want to know that you should check there okay so let's wait for this cell to run here so cell executed successfully now what i am going to do so since i have the temporary view so i will use this spark.sql and here i will simply say select star from trip that let me take the view name 